red lights. Hey, good morning, James. Good morning. 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 Hey. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monday, the 13th day of November 2023. At Scottsburg's Board of Public Works and Safety, we welcome all of you here today. And uh, the first thing we do in our meeting is begin by our call to order by our clerk treasurer, Jan Hart. Mayor Amick. Here. Karen Grishas. And Tom Lovas. Here. Thank you, Ms. Hardy. The next thing is the uh, approval of the minutes from October the 23rd, 2023 and November the 3rd, 2023. So we have two here to approve. Uh, you've had a chance to read through those. We'll entertain a motion to accept as presented. I'll make a motion to accept them as presented. Karen Grishas makes the motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Tom will second. See any questions? Hearing none, I'll say aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, on down to new business now. We have the approval of the SOP-002A as an alpha dash city police department brought to you by the fine folks at Scottsburg, Scottsburg uh, PD, headed up by Chief Dave Hart. <laughs> this is just a policy that's uh, presented by the law enforcement training board. It's a uniform policy on uh, the use of deadly force. It's mandated by the state and uh, we just need to get it in our SOPs and we'll have our training on it. Can you just summarize what what it says. What's that? Can you just summarize what it, it says? It just basically tells us what we can and can't do, and it's it's complicated as far as like choke holds and stuff like that. It lets us know when we can and can't use those as far as deadly force. Okay. Is this a result of George Floyd? Yes, this is definitely a result of, of that. Yeah. Tom Lewis makes the motion. Approval of the SOP. Karen Grisha's seconds. Are there any other questions? Can that all ever say aye? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. The next is an MOU for a water utility um, infrastructure. So this comes from the Redevelopment Commission. has a uh, loan agreement with a developer on uh, Minglo. And as a part of that, the uh, developer has asked that the city to the extent possible uh, that the city water assist with the installation of the uh, water lines at that property. So this is uh, an MOU just to formally agree that to the extent we can and are willing and able that we will provide assistance there. And it's to the benefit of the utility obviously because we connect these phones and have this a customer throughout the years. So this is, this is contingent upon them getting annexed into the city, I think it's... They have already filed that petition. Yes, the whole, the agreement was contingent upon on that. Will these funds not be dispersed until that is, that is passed? There are no funds associated with this MOU. Okay. It's just stating our understanding. understanding. Motion or second? I'll second. second. Any questions? Hearing that, all those say aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. Jay, will you be moving a sign copy of that so I can start voting? Thank you. Yes. Approval of the Kellogg's quote, quote. That's me, ma'am. Stacy's not here today, so um, she received this quote from Calix for broadband. The problem is or I guess the question I, I can ask Josh is the the renewal is for three years. So I don't know if we want to accept this, but she needs it. It's a support system that if anything goes down, um, she has to go through Calix to be able to get the system back up and you can't do under three years for support. I would like to be able to read through that first, please. Okay. We may have to call a special meeting, but I don't want to read through that one. Okay. Well, it shows the renewed period being J 
January 26th of 2024. So it looks like we've got some time here to Two months. figure this out. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm assuming that there's other entities that provide something similar. So if they're not willing to work with us. Yeah, unfortunately she can answer all those questions that I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would take I'm more. Sure it looks like we've got plenty of time to come up with a solution before the January date. Okay. That's great. Thank you very much. Next thing is the park change order. Uh, that, yeah. The, you all had accepted a quote from Fomet Insulation for the bathroom at the Lindsey Graham Park. Uh, the total quote was 43.2. And after going down there, the mayor went down there and met uh, the, the builder and decided to add a handicapped bathroom, uh, a drain, uh, a different soffit, changed a wall, a different door, added, added several things. Um, and so the change order made the total quote go to 47.4. Which is a total Jill of, of $4,200. Yes. Is what you're asking yes. for basically. Isn't that right, correct, yes. Josh? That it's in addition to what was already approved? I this, well, I don't know. The number. Yes. Okay, but I mean, that's what all we're yeah, asking. That's change order. Maybe all you're asking is the additional, whatever the additional amount is. That is the amount. That is, yes. Yes. I noticed on their description it said there is no um, layout provided. Who's going to provide that? They did provide it. They, they, they did draw one. I just didn't put it in your packet. Okay, so this is not correct. It says exact drawings of the layout was not provided. Drawing layout will need to be included. So they, they've added that, included that drawing. They did give us a drawing. Do we have a drawing? Yes, I have one. It's on your phone. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Is this already started? Yes, they've been down there. They've been down there. I don't know that they broke ground. I mean, they the were down there. Yeah. 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 Yes. They were to come up so with is this, uh, this added handicapped restroom, does that mean there's a male and a female and a handicap? Yes. So, so there's three. Yes. There's three. Okay. There was only two. And you know, our point was, we, I thought we needed to have that. The one for handicapped. Sure. So we took. So that's, that's either male or female. And they locked the door. And, and uh, so, yeah. one, one of the bigger costs of that amount was the, the drain pit for the water line. That, that was a big cost that the mayor wanted to put in. Yeah. Is it, is it? A drain pit for the water line, what she's talking about, is a, is a, is a drain for the floor. We have three drains on the floor today. Oh, okay. And they didn't before. No. Yeah, they didn't before. This yeah. yeah, and that'd be a question, Josh, because what they've done, they've just included it, and in what this isn't all the things they're changing, is that they just included it in here now. Do you know? That's everything. Yeah, should we have those, the what they're adding separately, Josh, or just as this, will this be acceptable? I mean, as long as you've got it, and you guys know the difference, I mean. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure Jill will. Adjusted no. bids that, yeah. And that's what they titled it at the top. Adjusted bid, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. Um, the things that we want to make was come, come winter, we want to be able to turn the water off and drain those things. Mm -hmm. sure. And then, especially in a restaurant, you want to be able to have a place where you can mop the floor, it's all going to be down the drain. And they had not included that in there. Nor had they included a handicapped bathroom. So we, that's why we wanted to, that's why we wanted to do that. When we 
did do that, then you have to have a sink that's handicapped accessible. You have to have a stool that's a higher, you have to have grab bars now. So those extra, the physical footprint did not enlarge, but the I said, I I said, this is crazy. Because I says, you know, I want to take this half and then over on the other side we can make a small storage area to be able to have, have supplies. But uh, uh, So you've seen the plan or the plan? I saw the plan when they went out to lay it out. That's when I was that's when I was there. And I said no. So so because I wanted that I wanted Let's show Tom what that looks like. I mean, no, they have to get the head or something. I mean, Carmen, I gave the new drawing to Carmen. Okay, Carmen. Yeah, we have the permits and Bob will do all the inspections like you would for any other building. Um, if they submit it to the state to have the CDR, I don't want to copy of that. I think what, what I was told was that I mean, Jerry took a plane they did with the dog. change order for the uh, Lindsey Graham Park. Uh, second. Seconded by Karen Grishes. Any questions, comments? I did have one other question. Is it just one, one toilet per bathroom? It is. Okay. It is. It is. It is. So, so they got it. All three say aye. Aye. Uh, next thing is the mask. Waiver for the Scott County Sheriff's Office for their annual Shop of the Cop event. We do this every year. This year they want to have it on December 15th, um, which is a Friday, and they have it from 12 to 9. Is that held in the very front office? No, that that is in the banquet hall. In the bank room. Now, when you go to the banquet room, what are they going to see? Yeah. New floors. New floors. New walls. New drapes. It's going to be the bathrooms. It's going to be the bathrooms. So, do I have a motion to accept a waiver from the Scott uh, County Sheriff's Office? Thomas, next motion is your second. I'll second. Gary, what's your second? Any other questions? Are you going to say aye? Aye. Aye. Right. Next, thank you. Next, we have our clerk, Trey, for Jan Hardy, our claim report. Okay. I've got about three things here. Uh, first of all, I would like a motion to accept the claims as presented. I make a motion to accept the claims as presented. I'll second. Karen Richards makes a motion to claim the three right claims. Tom goes second. Questions, comments? Hearing none, I'll hear say aye. 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 Yes, thank you. Now, I don't know if it was the last meeting or the meeting before. I uh, presented our annual maintenance agreement with our software provider and not realizing that we would still need a maintenance agreement for our billing. So um, Boyce has provided that um, as $1,420. Uh, 
So I would like to get approval to enter into this agreement and the mayor sign um, this so that the utility office can access the old billing records. I'll make a motion. Congress makes a motion on second. If you tell those seconds to approve a in order to uh, pay for billing for the software. So service service agreement, right? Mm -hmm. So sign right there. Chief Ritchie, we, my office discovered that when we got the mayor to sign that agreement with uh, Fire Inc., we inadvertently put that it was a 2021 Fire Typhoon Pumper, but I just wanted it for the minutes that this is a 2024 Fire Typhoon Pumper. So, just a motion to make that correction. Thomas makes the motion. Is, is it, can it be just be a typo? Is it just a typo? No, because it wasn't a typo. Oh. You signed it as a 2021. Okay. Yes. So Thomas makes motions or second. It's very much a second. I'm moving that from 2021 to 2004. I'll give say aye. 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 Yes, thank you. Thank you. I think that's all I have. What else? You had papers from the morning. Have you presented them? I have not. Looks like we have one, two, three uh, leak adjustment requests. Uh, so we don't have, ironically, any pool fills. This is yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't fill your pool. I beg your pardon. You didn't fill your pool up so, so we could get up. Oh, no. Means <laughs> that I had not enough. What else do we have? Jim, do you want to talk about the, uh, the sidewalk and water in a second? Um, we have Facebook. Did you see, Marty, where they're starting? No. They're starting on 3rd and Wardale this morning. Um, then they'll move up to Wardale in front of the library. And then they will go to Bond and then they'll move to uh, Highland. They'll take Highland the rest of the way down to the lake. Um, so we had a good uh, buyers excavating got it this time and there'll be a good amount of sidewalks done with this last award. Great. So we would like to thank the council again for the money to do that. The city should be proud for the big amount of sidewalks they got this time. It goes all the way down to Lake Iowa. So. Already have a request for Allen Street. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him to tell her, I said, uh, we don't have as so much money in our budget next year. So but I'll put that out there. Uh, Chief, what do you have for us? Uh, just let the board know we're going to start a hiring process for Trump Ford leaving. So yeah. we'll get that started probably in the next week or so. Okay. See what happens. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. Thank you for your help during uh, the Halloween. The Halloween was, again, another uh, amazing, amazing attendance because it was cold and it was just, uh, I think we had 422,000 pieces of candy. Mm -hmm. and so I felt like it was probably it was 4,000 or some odd, but still it was a lot, a lot of candy handed out. So uh, uh, it was a lot of fun for, for all, so it was a good thing. Uh, Anything else? No. Mm -hmm. Council, what do you think? 